Brother Ed, thank you so much for coming on this morning. Uh, we have just finished the Practitioner Empowerment course together. And uh, man, I've just loved you do, going through this journey with you, mate. Um, and uh, it's been a really wonderful time. So love to ask you a few questions about it. Um, first off, just starting off, like, would you care just to share like a little bit about yourself uh, your, and, your, and your journey and, and, and maybe a bit of the work that you do? Sure. Thanks, Jess. It's been a pleasure. It really has. And it's actually been growing in, in pleasure doing the course and enjoyment. So um, my name's Edward and um, I'm, I'm 25, 26, um, and I've been studying the uh, health, different health systems. I started off with um, athletics that kind of evolved into the Czech system that I was kind of tiptoeing about before I went to university and studied physio and I left that system for reasons around um, vaccines and things like that I couldn't continue and I sort of dove into the personal training sports massage um, starting to weave some of the Czech principles in and then I've kind of gone on a journey of sort of a wider community level of health with permaculture and connection to nature and so I'm I'm what I'm doing at the moment is uh, sort of weaving that together in a personal journey. And I'm quite in a sort of a germination phase of, of bringing that to the world. And it feels like there's a lot of music there that I want to express, uh, as well as helping people to heal with uh, emotional, emotional and spiritual. And when I say spiritual, a lot of it's like connection to the earth, sort of like how my spirit relates to the earth, how my soul relates to the earth and being here. And that kind of feels a big, big movement from when my father passed away when I was 21. And there was kind of some sort of something in me that, that wasn't quite able to be here. So there's been a whole sort of journey of that coming back into self. So that's and I, I'm learning from um, sort of nature connection training um as well as bringing some of that check work in so i'm kind of that's kind of at the moment what i'm doing i'm working with the way of the rope as a as a movement tool um and learning about dance through movement medicine which is sort of a five rhythms inspired practice so i'm beginning that with a teacher in wales so there's quite a few factors i'm mostly a student but i'm, I'm just stepping into uh being a practitioner which is why i came to do your course <laughs> yeah <laughs> amazing man amazing we were, we were chatting a little bit about the, the, all of the different influences all, all the different things that you've been doing before the call actually and uh you know you, you you're pulling together such an eclectic mix of so many different really powerful um, like modalities and ways of looking at things and yeah like uh, i um yeah i i i feel i feel really good for the people that you're uh that you're gonna be well that you're moving into working with and, and gonna continue to because of because of just what you're drawing together you know it's just really like yeah yeah it's awesome to see man thanks uh, Jim. oh absolute pleasure mate um so how was your experience on the practitioner empowerment course buddy yeah so starting the course felt like um a commit a real commitment to myself to oh, a recommitment to myself or reconnecting to the sense of commitment to myself but yeah I'm doing this I am working on stepping into helping others and developing myself enough to and and connecting with others so the actual the, the first step felt like really solid um and the first zoom first couple of zoom calls that I was able to make live with everyone and showing up and seeing everyone's faces and the diversity of people in different areas of the profession I know it's kind of fairly niche with the health work but there's I think there's like doctors and different kind of people at all different stages and feeling very like um welcome like welcome in terms of wherever I was at this is it's, it's like fine because I I feel like although although I have a tendency to kind of go to in the past like learning a structure and then sort of forgetting what I'm here to give I felt like with your course that I actually was constantly being invited back to what am I here to give but also given a framework of how you've been giving your your gifts so um 
in that sense, it's been a, like positively challenging. Like positively challenging is like I'm 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 being reminded to come back to myself. I've been I have been constantly reminded to come back to myself through your course of what is it that I want to give through this through this sort of form of helping others. And um, Jess is doing it and these other people are doing it. So it's like a holding of me in this where I really needed holding in this challenge because when I try and do it on my own I kind of feel so stuck so it's it's like getting the movement going so um yeah and and I I feel like the there was so much content that actually just that first step was probably enough for me in the first three months of where I was at in my own sort of journey and now that some things have passed, I'm actually diving back into the material now that you've been producing in the videos and that and catching, continuing on with that. So it feels so rich. It, it The experience hasn't ended is what I'm saying. It's like an ongoing process. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Thank, thank you, mate. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I think what, one of the things I love most about what, like, being in this profession is that, you know, the work doesn't end and there's, there's this continual just like blooming in, in terms of our self development. And, uh, and yeah, I, I, the, the, thanks, thanks for the words about, you know, the, um, how you're feeling about the, um, all the different diff the different diversity and the different people in in the course because that, that this for me was like one of like the really beautiful things about bringing everyone together it's just like right there's so many different viewpoints in here we're all coaches we're all uh or therapists all on the same path and all, all looking uh, at the same goals and and i think like i think within this world especially like um especially the czech world um in my observation there seems to be like uh, everyone's kind of out there on their own like there's like one checky then there's not another checky for like 150 miles around them <laughs> or whatever but like maybe london and maybe a little bit more but um but you know we we seem like kind of isolated in our little pockets throughout the country so you know to have like a, a loving group of um uh, like-minded uh people coaches and therapists to banks off and to to uh, to speak to and, and converse with I, I i feel is really valuable and you know from from where i was sat being able to meet everyone every couple of weeks was just it was just the best thing ever just to be able to catch up with everyone and you know have that the community hold itself kind of thing yeah. so um what what aspects did you enjoy the most or find the most useful out of course buddy <clears throat> Well, like we, weaving, I guess, from what you've just shared there a little bit is is a sense of, yeah, you, you firstly, thank you for weaving everyone together. And and I really felt that sense that people were able to hold themselves as well. And that, that that felt very special because we were all coming together to be part of this course, but actually we're all very self-determined as well. And so the, that that's a fine skill to bring people who are highly self-determined together <laughs> to, to collaborate. So, and, and I would say, um, can you ask the question again? But I, I, I think there's something in that for, for my answer. Yeah. The, the aspects of the course that you enjoyed the most or found the most useful. Yeah. Okay. The detox, I'd say what I first went to in terms of what I first, found most useful was having a support for detox pathways and knowing knowing the structures of what to approach first um like cleansing the colon first for example rather than just diving straight into the liver and it's like um that that felt that felt really useful because i'd been on a sort of detox protocol for quite a while doing a lot of coffee enemas and things like that but actually to kind of go there's this stage and then this stage and really drop into what's needed and what's really necessary for the cleanse found really I found that really helpful and knowing that I felt like the the lineage of information that that you're presenting in in your experience with your clients but also from people who've also tried it out there you know like from from your teachers and their teachers I'm like yeah okay I can really trust this this level of information has been verified through Jess and his clients, but also his teacher and their clients and also their teacher and their clients. So it's like, 
okay really ed relax <laughs> you know for for uh for, for everyone's sake <laughs> um so that felt really helpful and then diving into the astrology actually as well which is a subject i've kind of been like you know picking up on pieces and and on my travels and and meeting different people to actually hone in and to spend some time with it and to allow it to digest and um um yeah to 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 kind of get used to it a little bit and ground it in my experience and going okay chiron here understand this and having it as not as like a primary lens but as a kind of a guiding like guiding stars like what i imagine it's meant for um was was helpful in in this kind of contrast to the really kind of like okay practical helping others creating structures systems what's yours but also understanding there's a bigger picture and everyone's different um i i feel like that that really had a massive impact by the time we got to the end of the course and the someone in someone maybe it was amy or someone was saying how the astrology or perhaps it was you you yourself were saying it that the appreciation that so many different paths and it's like everyone's on a different journey and to bring more that to help that that philosophy to bring more love in connection to to understand that no one has to follow my way and i can still help them which i think had been a massive conundrum for me that i hadn't been able to get over in internally about everyone's on a different path but my way's better but wait a second how do i help people if i have a, a the perspective like that it doesn't work so uh, actually kind of really trying to but yeah i'd say that that fundamental level of of perspective and coming from a place of love and learning to recognize what's a more loving perspective to respect everyone's path but also no i can also help people no matter what path they're on and yeah for some reason in 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 my that was really helpful for me for coming into some more alignment in myself because i had I'd, I'd had some sort of maybe experiences from the past where it's like uh maybe in training in athletics where i felt like there was an imposed sort of this way is better and i can only help you if you follow my way and i it it's like it just i, I got injured that way so it's kind of like um even though I got injured, I kind of was carrying that kind of that kind of wound that I needed to kind of cleanse. So yeah, uh, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, it's brilliant. Thank you for sharing that, mate. Thank you for sharing. And um, you know what? It's, uh, each person I've chatted to, the astrology was like a real hit. Like, uh, um, really happy about that. And yeah, it, it, it's it's the context that it brings. It's the context that it brings. So not not only to you know the the reasons why we are the way we are or you know why we're good at certain things or why we face challenges in certain areas um but it also gives context to like 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 you say uh, everyone around us and you know cultivating like um a deep deep respect for everyone's path which is unique and well it can awaken so many things like you know like like compassion for others as well like you, you know I've, I've been speaking to an individual recently and uh, who's sharing things about his chart and the challenges that was is great for him and it's just like oh my god like real compassion for you because you know naturally those these certain attributes you, you're going to find really difficult really difficult and it's an attribute that maybe okay i, I find comes uh, flows a little, a little bit more naturally so then it's just like right real compassion for you here and then it's just like right how can i use what i have to then maybe help you help you with that and then he's got uh other things that i find challenging so it's just like then it's just like you you start to be able to see why we come together in in, in, in certain ways and uh yeah it's um it's really yeah a yeah, really beautiful system and um and i'm, I'm really happy that uh that, that you uh that you've got so much from uh, from this work with astrology and uh you know it's it's just like amazing to think you know there's these huge celestial bodies which are you know affecting us in this way you know it it doesn't make sense but it makes a lot of sense on on like another on another way uh way of looking at it but yeah like the the context and understanding that it can open up um 
So, yeah. So next next off, Ed, what, what what kinds of themes did you move through through the course, buddy? Within yourself. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'd say I mean I'm probably using I mean the language that feels for for this is 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 from the from the the archetypal studies with the survival mode and actually the stages of love perhaps from when did I start this course I'm just trying to place when I started it and what I feels like so much has been moving um I was I was learning a lot about the first stage of love before the course the sex and violence stage and I I, I mean it's almost like I've been cycling through different stages because before that I've definitely been learning about the heart stage a lot but then it was like um like in a system where it says anything anything that you don't uh in learn is included in the next stage so it was almost like I traveled up to my heart but the lessons of sex and violence loving that I hadn't learned needed to be revisited so before I started the course I was sort of really kind of quite deep in, in the, some of the pain lesson painful lessons of that and then through the course I felt like I by the time I got to the end I'm back in the heart again so I feel like I've kind of gone through um those themes if that's uh, that, that's what I'm I'm hearing um and yeah in terms of survival and moving into complexity feeling like oh there's so much complexity in this whole work and helping people and I've got to get the perfect system and uh, I've got to understand this really complex cleanse and within that it was almost like a hands-off kind of experience but then by the time kind of coming to the end and meeting everyone in the ceremony at the end just felt like oh like it's just about connecting with people and when when you said correct connecting before correcting I was just like oh like yes this is like this is just putting words to my experience on such a huge level because I guess the the theme the theme of complexity and trying to find out how to correct people in the perfect way I was putting that first before connecting and actually I'm really good at connecting with people but I was getting in my own way in a sense I was trying to make correcting come first mm. and so and so um I guess the those are some of the themes does that make sense or is there any other sort of themes you're imagining that you want <laughs> Yeah, no, perfect. So it's brilliant. No, thank you, thank you, mate. Thank you. And um, you know, uh, it is it's interesting because you know the I I I find like the more I focus on the connection and the more I focus on really feeling that love for the client and and you know creating that container, um, you know, the, the more magic things happen within the dynamic because you know then through through that through that uh the, the the client then feels safe and then safe enough to be vulnerable and like so so many good things come from that and you know it's is i am saying like toward uh at the start of the course like I, in, in my opinion it's not so much about the technical skills or don't get me wrong the technical knowledge and the technical skills are, are, are super important but what i what i feel is, is is more important is that ability to empathetically connect with another um, because then that that creates that this creates this 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 bond of love, which then can allow things to flourish and grow. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's what Paul, Paul, Paul always says: connection before correction. And uh, because I, I've def definitely gone in there with the correction first in the past, and then just seen that it just doesn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> you know gluteus medius this and blah 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 that and da, la, la, la. it's just like person you know you, you, you're not getting there with the person you know um so yeah no that's 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 great thank you buddy um and what were what what were your biggest takeaways from the course mm. I, yeah, it, it, I mean, again, it sort of feels a bit of like a continuum of the momentum of that with feeling like I have so I've I'd 
the biggest takeaway feels like I can start right now with the skills I have and the the that that feels like a huge huge step even though it's actually like a small step in some ways because it's like start right now right you can just take a step but for some reason there was just so much stuck kind of stay still don't move um energy within me that the course kind of just kept kept presenting to me and by the time the end it landed that i the, again it's this sense of i can connect first and i've got those skills and it's it's almost like a, a reconnection to this inner child the sort of the divine child and it's maybe where there wasn't healthy boundaries in the past with that kind of energy um or learning to hold those healthy boundaries for myself but to actually to to allow that light to shine through because that part of me is is great at connecting with all kinds of people and that used to be my first like first natural instincts to go oh hello who are you what do you know what do you do and I didn't have any judgments or anything like that about you know they were doing the wrong thing or the right thing um and I guess the biggest takeaway is now that it's like this integration of those two where I can actually go yes I I can I've got all this knowledge that can help people correct them <laughs> but if until I until I allow my sort of my heart to guide the way with connecting first then that is felt more as an attack which I realize it kind of is it is like violent more violent to kind of come to someone and try and correct them even if I'm you know pre presenting myself as a, a healer um you know which is where I kind of wanted to go being a physio all this kind of thing it's like yeah hello I'm gonna help fix you it's like that's actually on a violent feels violent mm. even if the other person's willing it's like i actually want to just learn how to connect with you first and then and and it's it's almost that for me that's the biggest takeaway and sometimes that's the biggest challenge as well for for me and for the person i'm with mm. so um honoring i guess it's honoring that first step that's for me that's the biggest takeaway because like, I don't care about all the, like you say, all the skills, all the knowledge in the background. But at the end of the day, if I've actually got the the skills to learn how to connect with someone who doesn't want to connect yet. And it's almost like, that's my medicine. Like that, that, that's what I'm, that's the biggest takeaway that I'm learning is that that's a real challenge for a lot of other people. And uh, it's almost like correcting is almost like sometimes a bypassing of actually that, the challenges of connecting on a, on a deep enough level. And then I feel like, from what I felt from the course is actually when I connect and I really feel connected and I feel that support, it's really easy to make changes. <laughs> it's really easy to do the right thing. It's really easy to drink more water, to get to bed on time, to eat because I feel connected. Mm -hmm. And it's like, there's much more sort of, um, it's almost like a pivot. It's like, if I'm out here trying to make change, I've got to use all this for move. But if I'm here and I make a change, it's like so easy to pivot. So yeah, that's my biggest takeaway. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you, brother. Uh, so, so you, you got such a good way of articulating things as well. Like, like really, like this is yeah, yeah. And so yeah, thank you, thank you, Fred. And yeah, I'm just like picking up on what what what, what you're saying. It, it's it's kind of like when you're coming along and telling the person and you know, make this change. It, it's it's even though you know they may have kind of like enlisted your help to to do that is still going to be quite invasive you know and um is it, with, with without that connection first so yeah that's awesome um and uh we so we we had a cacao ceremony at the end would uh would, would you care to share like a few words about just like your experience of the cacao ceremony at all please bud okay <laughs> yeah um Yeah, it felt like a. It felt like the completion of the ceremony in in the sense that the emotions that were maybe underlying the experience from the beginning were able to to rise up and be met and be be felt. That was my experience, and I guess it's again, it's just a sense of connection 
coming into connection with the group with the with the with the medicine and the experience was is i felt so i felt so safe and felt so connected i mean before the cacao i had a load of sleep kind of napping feeling resting and recovering just in the presence of everyone and i was coming there to learn and be like active and like yeah okay i'm gonna learn something actually i just need to rest and then by the time the we came to the evening with the cacao i felt energized and and ready to actually feel what was going on inside it was loads of sorrow and grief about losing my dad and losing my own commitment to myself and and disconnecting from my dream somewhat and sort of getting caught up in the death part of life and and like like oh no i've lost something and just being so fixated on on that death but actually needing enough support and connection with others in the group and with the the, the support of the cacao to to remember life again and remember my commitment to myself and to my path and to how that's for everyone like it, it, it's like how it impacts everyone like this kind of selfishness that's connected to everyone like when I remember that commitment yeah and it was loads of tears and sort of hot kind of watery emotions sort of the sort of the feminine the dynamic feminine force within me felt free to flow like my waters were flowing um so yeah that if it, it, it feels like a right gemstone pops up <laughs> yeah really happy to hear it mate and uh yes uh yeah i got i got the gooses <laughs> and uh thank you for bringing your your one of your medicines to the ceremony as well you're playing some amazing flute work like really i've um I actually after 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 listening to you and uh, aaron play and, and uh, i saw someone playing flute on the weekend i've, I've started to think like oh man Maybe I want to pick up a flute at some point. So <laughs> thank you for that, bro. <laughs> awesome. So my my last question: Would you recommend this course to other coaches and therapists? <laughs> I, a I can see the whole Czech network needing this course, Jess. If I'm honest, like there's and, and just generally like anyone that feels like they're in that place of of like say this kind of separated out into like these kind of isolated places where they're trying to be trying to do everything and it's like I get a sense that 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 is trying to correct before connecting but without the awareness that how deep that goes so I, I feel like this course is I, I recommend I would recommend this to anyone I sense is in, in that place and I think there's a lot of people needing this medicine of of connecting but with the sort of theme of yeah we're learning how to correct as well we're learning how to improve we're learning how to grow and so regardless of how skilled someone might feel they are this feels just like so uh fundamental oh mate like th thank you so much brother i really really appreciate your words and uh you know it's really spurns spun me on um a lot more and uh, it's, been, it's been such a wonderful journey like, like thank you so much for coming on this course and uh it's it's been it's just been so so pleasurable to spend this time together and and also as well like well I, th I think one of the biggest things that I've loved about this course um is just the deepening in friendship with all of you that I felt has, has happened throughout and it really just like yeah it's just, it's just been a joy and a pleasure to be able to you know link up with uh my buddies like every couple of weeks and uh and you know do 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 what we all love you know we're, we're all we're all on this uh growth train so um thank you for being a um a part of that and uh and also thank you for bringing yourself your presence your energy you're a special guy man and uh it's just it's, i'm just overjoyed that you know uh this has been maybe all like one of the steps um for you in your journey to um towards helping people in a, in, um, in more, a more expansive way. So yeah, thank you, brother. And thank you for your time and coming on today. Yeah, thanks, Jess. It was precious. Cool. Much love. <laughs> cool.